Hano Jr. Off turn four down to the right. Green flag is now running away. Keel with a good jump on the outside. Car push up the hill. Here comes Rando. Chris always the Rando up into the second spot. Hano going to fight back on the outside. Dana Smith up in fighting with Erd. Smith in the 14 and Hano in the 27. They're cousins. Nate Keogh got his first heat race win earlier today. Wants to get his first ever feature. Here comes Riendo. Chris the Weasel Riendo. They'll rub rails a little bit off turn two. Up into turn number three. Keogh fighting hard on the outside. Riendo will take over the top spot. Here comes Dana Smith. Caution will fly as Berkwist around in turn number four. Dan Gilliman off turn number four. Joe Crowley gives him a look and says, let's get it on. Down into turn number one. Chris Riendo going to lead the pack off turn two. Dora Holland already coming up fast. Oh, trouble for the 09. Raymond Gassetti takes the 09 up pit road. Meanwhile, Dana Smith. Trying to shake loose from Ray Hano Jr. Chris Luis Oriano, the man up front. Nate Keo rides along in the second spot, right in his tracks. The battle of the third between Dana Smith and Ed Hano. These guys came into championship night less than a handful of points apart. Daniel Spear making his third race ever, trying to make it happen in at number 55. Way up high goes Bazgak. Bakaj. In the 32, Spear works underneath Berquist. Spear will have that position off, turn number two. Up front, Chris, the Weasel Riendo, still showing him the way. Nate Keo having his best run of the season right there with a strong second. Third, your 2008 point champion, Dana Smith. All right, Hano Jr. holding down the fourth spot. Today's sponsor, the New England Outdoor Furnaces, number one of Calvin Poland rounds out the top five. Brando now starting to open up a little bit on Nate Keo. Is Keo cooling his tires? Only time will tell. Caution will fly now as Daniel Speak, he can get it done from the outside. We'll find out now. Riando gets the jump. Smith trying to work underneath Keo. Keo able to shut the door. Smith has to get on the binders. Look out. Hano and Poland together off turn four. Oh, look out, Poland gets loose. Goes up the hill just a bit, gets it straight out. Great save by Calvin Bowen. So it's Chris Riendo, Nate Keo, Dana Smith, Ad Hato, Calvin Bowen, Tony Jarvis, and Dola Holland, a pair of rookies. First time out in their modified, either driver, and they're both doing an outstanding job. Then it's Dennis Bacage. Sean Brule, Derek Berkwist. Fred Nees Jr. and Daniel Spear. Jarvis trying to set up Poland on the low side. Poland shuts the door, going into turn number three. Jarvis able to hold that old four right down low. Jarvis with a good run off turn two this time. Draws halfway up the door of Poland. He'll be able to drive it in there this time. Poland gives him room. Pulls back in line. Good sportsman move by Calvin Poland. Up front, Chris the Weasel Riendo trying to get his first win at Twin State Speedway in the bottom line. Cross flags out halfway. We are halfway through this 35 lap Pepsi modified main event. 
In New England, outdoor furnaces fall challenge at Twin State Speedway. Back half of the racetrack now in shade. Front half still in the sun. Chris Randall holding off Nate Keo and Nor uh, Dana Smith. He brought the column norm, saw his father years ago. All right, Hano Jr. rides in fourth. The pair of rookies, Joey Jarvis in the 04, and Dora Holland in the 37 marks to the line. Then it's Calvin Poland, Dennis Bajcott, Sean Brew, Derek Berkman's Fred Knees, look out! Daniel Spear around the front straightaway. He's out of arm's way. Keeps it fired up, Spear. Will rejoin the pack on the front shoe. Here we go, Daniel Spear biting his time. He'll pull back out onto the speedway. Leaders roll on by Berquist. Berquist gives them room. Dana Smith now starting to close ground. On Keo and look out. Smith and Berkwist together. Dana Smith going underneath the lap car. That's a no-no. And Berkwist ends up going into his cousin, Dana Smith. So 23 laps in the books, 12 laps to go. Here they come out. Dirt one green flag is out. So here they come off turn number four. Riendo still the leader with Nate Keo. Dano Smith, uh, Hano, Joey Jarvis, Calvin Boland. Oh, look out, Jarvis loose. Jarvis around on the back shoot. Everybody gets rolled up. Good job. Caution will fly. Ready to go back underway. Green flag is out. It's race time. Oh! That was all Dana. All 27. And Hano tried to close the door coming off turn two. Green flag is now underway once again. Chris Riando, Nate Keel, Dana Smith a little loose off turn two. Calvin pulling up into that four spot. Dora Holland rounding out the top five. Then it's Sean Brew. Top five, look at this, trying to run and hide from Baker and the rest of the pack. Chris Riendo, Nate Keo, nose to tail off, turn number four. Oh, and there it is. The 37 of Dola Holland, his first time out, moves up into the fourth spot. Calvin Poland right there, rounding out the top five. Daniel Spear in trouble on the back straightaway. Spear, finally, he gets it fired up. We'll stay under green. Daniel Spear, who I believe is another cousin to Dana Smith and I Hano. So three families of cars out there, or one family of three cars. Five to go. Five more laps to go, modified main event. The Pepsi modified. Oh, look out, Dennis Berquist. Derek Berquist around in turn number four. Here we go, back on the way once again. Green flag is out. Five laps to go. Final five on the Pepsi mods. Chris the Weasel and really wants this victory. Nate Keo right there in second. Dana Smith now all of a sudden. Smith from out and only is starting to look strong. Smith works underneath Keo. Smith trying to take over second spot. He'll have it off turn number four. Now Keo fights back at the line. Oh, Smith gets loose. Keo drives away. 
Here comes Dola Holland. Dola Holland, his first time on the Monomo. Smith loose again. Smith having a hard time holding on to the 14, but he'll work his way around the high side. Double sticks up now, two more laps to go. Two to go, Dola Holland drives it in deep again. Dana Smith holds him off. What a battle we've got for third place. White flag out, one more lap to go. Chris, the weasel Rando on his way to victory seemingly. One more set of turns to negotiate. The junior out of Springfield High School gets the win. Chris, the weasel Rando. Nate Keogh comes home in second, followed by Dana Smith. Dola Holland, Joey Jarvis back to fifth. Then it's on Hano, Calvin, Paul, and Derek Baker. And he's going to do a little bit of celebrating on the back shoe. Dana Smith, been waiting over a month to uh, celebrate this championship. Numerous attacks from Nate Keo, big smile on his face. Chris Rando, ladies and gentlemen. And let's uh, talk about the race first, man. Nate Keo was beating the heck out of your back bumper. He was pushing you hard. Yeah, just I want to thank Jim Tarbell for being on the radio, Dad, all the family, Brian Baker's crew for helping him, keeping me calm, Gary Baker for helping keeping me calm, Todd Rooks doing an excellent job. I want to thank Vision Graphics, Value Service Center, Domino's, Lightning Automotive, Andy Speed Shop, Mac Tools, Heavy D's Napa, and Value Service Center, and who's our VPE. <laughs> There you go, a little help from the crowd, gotta love that. Uh, now, all kinds of rumors swirling that you might wave a magic wand and make this car magically a pro stock next year? Uh, it's still up in the air, I don't even know what we want to do. Me and Dad have been talking about it, but who knows, we might not even race. I don't believe that. Chris Riendo, folks! A classy young man getting it done on the racetrack. And if you think he's not going to race next year, you are out of your mind. Set for the green flag. There it is, they're underway. Anthony Marvuglio and Paul Lagell mix it up down into turn one. Marvuglio comes out on top of that one in the number 35, leads him off the fourth turn, and he'll lead lap number one. On the move is Russ Wood Jr. in the number 51, and Sean Torrey in the 33, running in the third spot. Here's Marvuglio with the Russ Wood Jr. right on the back bumper, crossing the stripe. Wood looking for an opportunity to get around, as is Sean Torrey. Torrey on the move in the number 33. Looks to the low side, but no room to make the move on that lap. Quickly moving up the fourth spot is the 11 of P.J. Sturgis. He is up to fourth. And trying to reel in the leaders. Marvuglio continues to show the way around. Russ Wood Jr. for second. Sean Torrey is third. And Sturgis has caught the leaders. Now a four-way battle as Sturgis drives right underneath the 33 of Sean Torrey. Sturgis in the number 11. Dices it out with Torrey for that third spot. And takes it. Sturgis up to third in the 11, going after Russ Wood Jr. now to create a battle for the second spot. Wood can hear him there and knows that Sturgis is coming. Marvuglio by a couple of car lengths over Russ Wood Jr. Here's Sturgis again with a run underneath Wood. Trying to take that spot away and does. Drives underneath in the first and second turn. Sturgis, who started in the last spot, is up to second now in the number 11. Russ Wood Jr. runs third. Sean Torrey is fourth. Joe Chick is fifth. And Paul Lagell sixth in the number 28. Sturgis now with his sight set on Marvuglio. Sturgis gets a good run on the inside out of the fourth turn, and that looks to be the place he likes to make his move. Again, looks to the low side. 
Going to try the pass low. Marvuglio comes back across the bow and continues to lead. Marvuglio in the Cabrera prepared number 35. Trouble for Sean Torrey. Smoke off the number 33. He's headed for the pit area. Meanwhile, Marvuglio continues to best Sturgis. Sturgis looks to the outside this time. Once again, drives it back down to the inside. Tries to get the bite out of the fourth turn. Drives hard down into turn one and takes the lead. P.J. Sturgis, the new leader. Waited to make his move and did it on that lap. He's the new leader, P.J. Sturgis in the 11. Marvuglio runs second. Russwood Jr. is third. Joe Chick in the fourth spot. Sturgis now opening up a comfortable lead in the number 11. Well out in front. Marvuglio holding on to second, but Russ Wood wants it. Looks to the high side through the third and fourth turn. Can't make the pass. Sturgis now with almost a straightaway lead. Good battle for second between Marvuglio in the 35 and Russ Wood in the 51. Five laps to go, next time by, five to go. Here's your leader, P.J. Sturgis, cruising to a win here this afternoon. Anthony Marvuglio continues to run second. Russ Wood Jr. continues to give chase. Trouble for Paul Lagell in the number 28, but he will take it right off the racetrack. Two to go this time for P.J. Sturgis. Big lead in the number 11. White flag is up, just a lap left for Sturgis, who could basically coast from this point in the number 11. Anthony Marvuglio with Russwood Jr. right on the back bumper. Here's your winner, Sturgis takes the win. Here's the race for second, down to the line. And Marvuglio will finish second. Russwood Jr. for third. And to pick up speed into turn three. Here they come. Green is out. Mike Horn to the lead in the P30. William Wall fights to hold on to second. Adam Cantor right there in the number seven. Bobby Santos in the 98 working the high side. And Noki Fanaro in the number four. Here's Cantor and Santos, they split. William Wall in the five. Santos on the move in the number 98. Santos looking to the high side of Mike Horn. Horn pulls him down the back stretch. Adam Cantor trying to come by, trying to make it three wide. Santos on the high side, Cantor on the low side. They both get by Mike Horn. Santos is the new leader. Adam Cantor goes to second. Mike Horn back to third. Noki Fanaro is fourth. William Wall is fifth. Randy Cabral is sixth. Bobby Santos showing the way around in the number 98, Santos. A four-time winner in 2008. Adam Cantor runs second. Mike Horn holds on to third. Noki Fanaro is fourth. William Wall back to fifth. 
Randy Cabral is sixth. Chris Leonard is seventh. Greg Storr is eighth. Joey Payne is ninth. And Barry Kittredge round out the top ten. Santos into lap traffic now. Caution flag is out. Spin off the fourth turn. Speed on the back stretch. Here they come for the restart. Green flag. Santos back to the lead. Cantor for second and Noki Fanoro on the move into number four. Santa, uh, rather, Fanoro was able to get around Mike Horn to take over the third spot. And here comes Randy Cabral. Cabral in the 47. Cabral goes to fourth. William Wall now up to fifth. Mike Horn getting shuffled back in the P30. Good lead for Santos. Cantor all by himself in second. Noki Fanoro third. Randy Cabral fourth. William Wall is fifth. Joey Payne is up to sixth. Mike Horn, the pole sitter, back to the seventh spot. Santos with a comfortable lead, and Adam Cantor with a comfortable second spot. Noki Fanoro runs third, but he's being hounded by Randy Cabral in the number 47. into some lap traffic now as Cabral picks his way around Lee Bundy in the number two. Adam Cantor for second. Noki Fanaro is third, but continues to be hounded by Randy Cabral. Bobby Santos slicing his way through the lap traffic. Adam Cantor gives chase. Noki Fanoro's gonna pick his way through because he's got Randy Cabral right there looking to make a change. Your leader is Bobby Santos. Adam Cantor in the number seven continues to run second. Noki Fanaro is third and Randy Cabral is right there in fourth. Cabral all over the back of Noki Fanaro trying to take that third spot away. Five laps to go. Five to go for Bobby Santos. Yellow is out, caution flag. A spin on the front stretch. Green is out. Santos is back in the lead. Cantor is second. Noki Fanoro third. Randy Cabral fourth. And now Joey Payne up into the top five in the number 75. Yellow is out, spin in turn four. Green is out. And Bobby Santos is back in the lead. Adam Canto is second. Noki Fanoro third. Randy Cabral is fourth. Joey Payne is fifth, William Wall is sixth, Mike Horn and Greg Storr dice it out for the seventh spot. A spin off the fourth turn. Here they come, green flag. White. 
No, should be the one. Checkered flag is up, and Bobby Santos will win it. Adam Cantor for second. Noki Fanaro third, Randy Cabral fourth, and Joey Payne fifth. A caution. Late race cautions, Bobby Santos, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I just got to, you know, thank my family. They gave me a great car. I uh, just had a fun year this year. Uh, just got to thank uh, Ed Bro, everything he's done for my sister and me. Uh, he's been great to us. Um, just uh, everyone at NEMA had a lot of fun. Those late race cautions, uh, were you at all knowing that that would bunch the field up behind you? Yeah, I mean, you never know with uh, late race yellows, anything can happen. But, uh, you know, Adam, it was fun racing with Adam. He did an awesome job, and uh, Noki and all these guys, it was fun. Well, another visit to Victory Lane for you to wind up 2008 in the NEMA Midgets. Congratulations. Thank you. Bobby Santos, the winner of the NEMA 25-lap main event here at Twin State. All right, here we go. We are underway. The 80 car leads him down. That is Josh Provost. He will stick the nose out in front and take the lead. Four wide down in turn number two. How often do you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Four wide into turn number three. They just won't quit. Three wide now off of turn number four. There's race cars everywhere. Josh Provost out in front. Second belongs to Jeremy Wilcox. Then it's the 15 of Paul Colson. The eight car is next, that's Danny Boy Shields. The zero is up next, that's Eddie Gilman. That's your top five. Right now, Jeremy Wilcox out in front. Josh Provost runs in second. Third now, goes to the 14, Billy Ryder. He was the points leader coming in. Got a feeling he's gonna be the points leader going out as well. Ryder, very, very quick in that 14 machine. Jeremy Wilcox out in front. Josh Provost continues to run second, but he's feeling the heat from Billy Ryder. Ryder now looks to the high side. Ryder in the black and green, number 14. Oh, Provost runs him by. Ryder, the crossover, now goes back to the high side, gives him a little shot. Oh, it's just like stock car racing. They're beating and banging and having a good old time. Now Ryder to the bottom. Provost lets him go, and Ryder moves to the second spot. 26 car, Eric Bacon of Brimfield, Mass. Heads up, pit road. Out in front, the 38. Jeremy Wilcox, the Litchfield, New Hampshire native, on a rail. These cars compete just about every Sunday at Hudson Speedway in Hudson, New Hampshire. Not this Sunday, however, if you hadn't figured that out. I'm pretty quick like that. Actually, George had to tell me that. He's pretty quick like that. I was still wondering why they weren't there. I, I just didn't get it. <laughs> oh, boy. So the 38, Jeremy Wilcox, the Sterling Hill racing car, out to a comfortable lead. But I'll tell you what, Billy Ryder in that 14, eating away at the lead just a little bit. Josh Provost runs in third. Fourth belongs to the zero of Eddie Gilman, the five machine of Jimmy Ryder is in fifth, then it's the 16. Dennis O'Brien, the blue and white machine, four wheel drift off of turn number four. The 47 car is next. That machine is Ralph Cook, third in the points coming into the afternoon. Danny Boy Shields in the eight car is next, then it's the 15 of Paul Colson. The 18, that's Robert Provost, fourth of the points coming in, struggling to figure out this Twin State Speedway track in the 74 of Shane Reinhold. This track very, very different than most any other racetrack. Two completely different ends. Three and four. Kind of a momentum deal getting down in and into the middle and then you sort of gotta get the thing rotated up off so as not to hit the Widowmaker. One and two on the other hand, you gotta stay way up off the bottom. Drive it all the way down to the bottom, kind of stop, get the thing restarted and away you're, you're coming in. Kicks Jeremy Wilcox back to the second spot. That 18 car is a lap down, not the 15. Paul Colson doing a nice job. He runs in third now. 
Oh, 15 is a lap down, being told. So the 80 car continues to run in third. Josh Provost, the zero is up next, Eddie Gilman, and the five car of Jim Ryder. So coming to complete lap 17 right now, Billy Ryder with the lead. Lap traffic starting to play a factor, however. 17 in the books. Eight laps to go. Thanks to Joe. Oh, change for the lead. The 38. Jeremy Wilcox ducks to the inside, takes the top spot back. Now Billy Ryder gonna battle back. He's taking the spot. Lap car and kind of cars kind of held up Ryder. And Wilcox able to scoot to the bottom and take over the spot. Northeast Classic Lights. Getting it done in a hurry. Top two right there together. Oh, Ryder dives to the bottom and a car round over in turn number four. Oh, looks like it's the 18 machine. That is Robert Provo's fourth in the points coming in, trying to restart the machine. Car just will not refire. So Billy Ryder still trying to chase down Jeremy Wilcox. That's the battle in the speedway. And now the 18 heads out. Oh, trouble in turn four. The 16 car, Dennis O'Brien around. Car still running, I believe. And he is away. No caution. These guys doing an excellent job. Check back in with a battle for the lead. Top two right there together. Two to go now. Can Ryder take the win in the championship? We've seen it a couple of times this weekend. Norm Wren did it. Truck Series champion won yesterday, won the race. Andy Lindemann, thank you, George. Bails me out once again. Oh, lap traffic plays a factor. White flag in the air. Checkered flag will come out. And it looks as though Wilcox is going to hang on. Green flag in hand. Here it come the ground pounding modifieds of the True Value Modified Racing Series. Green flag. Down the back straightaway, Dwight Jarvis is going to lead the field in the turn number three. He will be the first lap leader here in the opening round. Kirk Alexander's going to go to work on the outside of Mike Douglas as they go wheel to wheel out of the number two turn. And Alexander's going to go right after Dwight Jarvis. Alexander. Douglas in third. Here goes Roger Raymond to the outside. Raymond fast on the outside as he goes by the number 73, John McKennedy. McKennedy tries to fight back on the inside as they come off the number four turn. Raymond holding on to the spot, rolls into that fourth spot solidly. Now you've got Jimmy Kuhn and Dale Rebonchin door to door down the back chute. The True Value Modified Racing Series. The Dwight Jarvis with a comfortable lead in car number 28. Lots of side-by-side -side racing going on behind Jonathan McKennedy. Here comes Jimmy Kuhn to the high side. Kuhn with Jeff Malave right behind him in the number 78 car. Matt Hirschman in car number 59. Hirschman to the outside of Sean Boudreau. Hirschman will certainly draw the, the interest of the fans here as he races right alongside Rob Goodman. Mike Jarvis opening up a sizable lead over car number 43. Douglas running third, rocking Roger Raymond fourth. Fifth is John McKennedy. Sixth is Daly Bonchin. Seventh is Jeff Malavi. Eighth is going to be, a seventh is Boudreau. Eighth is Malavi. Is good enough to the inside. 
of uh, car number 72, Kuhn, and Hirschman follows him out of turn number two. Mike Douglas trying to reel in car number 43, Kirk Alexander, as they come off turn number four and down the front straightaway. Pretty much a freight train as the field makes its way into the first and second turn and down the back chute. Jarvis started outside front row. Got a good run going, and we want to get everybody up on lap number 12. Everybody keep an eye on the scoreboard and the flagmen. Boudreau off the pace on the front straight away in car number three as he drops to the bottom. Here's your leader, Jarvis down the front shoot. Big lead. Alexander not going after him. Dwight Jarvis through the third and fourth corner. Looking to catch up to the back end of the field here. Alexander sees those slower cars, the back side of the field, straight ahead. Hirschman right up behind, good enough. 20 laps completed. 20 laps into the record books. Raymond doing a great job holding off the young gun from East Chumpsford. We get Ashton over in the number two corner. It looks like it's Kevin Iannarelli bringing out the caution flag. Here they come. Green flag. Rocket Roger on the outside of Mike Douglas as they go side by side down the back straight away and the scramble is on. Rolling thunder out of turn four. Kirk all over the back side of Jarvis. Rocket Roger wavered a little bit at time out of turn number two. No harm done, but here comes McKennedy to the inside. Dale Evans should run it behind Raymond. As they go into the turn, Dale run at the bottom. Fat better over, he stays to the outside. Now he's going to come down to the bottom of turn number three, right up behind McKennedy as they come off that number four turn. Malave and on the outside of Sean Boudreau. Matt Hirschman and Rob Goodenough continue to go at it lap after lap. Goodenough can't shake free the number 59. Persistent is Matt Hirschman in that number 59 car. Now Kuhn goes to the inside as they rocket out of that number two turn. Mike Holdridge in the number zero. Trying to keep Chris Pastryak behind him in the 15. Those are the two championship cars. The zero and the 15. Oh, we got contact. Kuhn get into the side of Malave. Around goes Bateman in front of Kenny White. And the caution is over the speedway. And upon the pavement, the motors come alive. Out of the corner, green flag. Jarvis and Alexander ready to battle down the back straightaway. There goes McKennedy to the outside of Mike Douglas Jr. And Dale Evanchin's in the wake of that field as they come down the front straightaway. Now Sean Boudreau's going to battle with Roger Raymond on the outside. Raymond on the bottom of the number 62 car. Raymond is able to shake free Boudreau. Here comes Matt Hirschman. Hirschman comes alive in car number 59. We're right by Rob Goodenough. And right by Sean Boudreau, it looks like Hirschman's decided it's time to go. He goes by Raymond on the outside. Matt Hirschman looking to get to the front. 
Right to the outside of Daley Bronson. He has passed three cars in two laps, and he's going after Revanchin. Right up behind John McKennedy as they come off the turn. Hirschman hard into turn number one, has the advantage out of the second quarter, and there he goes. Down that back straightaway. 30 laps completed. Dwight Jarvis, Kirk Alexander, Mike Douglas, John McKennedy, and Matt Hirschman has worked his way into a top five, running fifth on the speedway. Look at Kenny Barry. Kenny Barry's coming alive. Barry in the flying creamsicle. He goes by Boudreaux. And he's right up behind good nothing car number six. Now Hirschman works over the outside of McKennedy on the back straightaway. Matt Hirschman in the Bruno country number 59. Up high on the power miss number 73. Side by side into the turn. Hirschman and McKennedy battle out of turn number two. Hirschman up top to the outside as he challenges. John McKennedy side by side, wheel to wheel, north bar to north bar. Out of the trip, boy, I'll tell you, they are putting all kinds of pressure on the Mike Douglas Jr. Douglas doing a super job in car number 23. McKennedy down to the bottom. Hirschman on the outside, wheel to wheel, door to door, down the back straightaway. Off the number four turn. Continuing the battle. What a race between McKennedy and Hirschman. These two battled last night at All-Star Speedway. And they have done it before, doing it here tonight at Twin State. Putting on a great show for the fans assembled here tonight. Further back, Dale Ivanchin, Roger Raymond. Ivanchin sixth, Raymond is seventh, good enough is eighth. Barry running ninth, Boudreau is in tenth, but he's getting pressure from Les Hinckley in the zero six. Dwight Jarvis, Looks like he's headed to another zip code. Way out in front. Boy, oh boy, you can tell he knows this racetrack. Look at the line Jarvis is driving. Jarvis would like nothing more than to win right here at his home speedway. Racetrack he's had so much success at, he has not won a feature yet this year. And he would like to close out 0-8 with a checker here tonight. Watch, 31 laps are in the books. Carson is out. It is for the point leader, Chris Pasternak around. Well, the youth watching Jimmy Hanks. There's the style of Hanks out of the corner, and there's the green flag. Side by side, we may have a new leader as they get on the back straightaway. The king of the True Value Series wants to lead this event, and he's going to lead the lap as they come down the front straightaway. Dwight wants nothing of it. He's going to fight back on the inside, but strong. Oh, we got trouble. Trouble in the number two corner. That's Daly Vonchen around. Out of the turn, green flag. And immediately it'll be Alexander and Jarvis. This time it'll be Alexander down to the bottom. And Dwight up high. And Dwight is going to be strong off the corner, strong enough to lead the lap. Here comes McKennedy to the inside. Look at Rob Goodenough. Goodenough now going after Douglas. The former two-time pro stock champion. Hirschman to the bottom as they roll off the number four corner. Les Hinkley out of nowhere. Starting to make his way to the front in Chuck Montville's number 06 GTO. Kenny Barry, Todd Owen in the number 20. Oh, we got another barn burner here in the True Value Modifieds. Pastor Yak trying to stay within striking distance of the number zero car of Mike Holdridge. But look at the racing coming off four. Horseman underneath now, challenging for the number four spot with McKennedy. Earlier it was McKennedy down low, and Horseman forced to work the high side. 
Now these two are battling wing to wing, or north by to north by off the corner. Now it'll be uh, Hinkley to the bottom and challenging the number 73 of McKennedy. Good enough stays low. Kenny Berry low through the corners. And the number 20 car, the Zarnicki Brothers entry. Todd Owen behind the wheel, right up behind Barry. Halfway, halfway for Dwight Jarvis, Black Mountain Painting Award. Mike Douglas in third spot, fourth spot. Hirschman, Hinkley fifth. All kinds of pressure on Rod Goodnut coming from John McKennedy and the number 40 car, Kenny Berry. Field nose to tail down the straightaway. Jarvis Alexander, Mike Douglas, Matt Hirschman, Les Hinckley. Alexander by the inside of Kenny White. Alexander, uh, Jarvis by, Alexander follows. Douglas, oh, Hinckley loose. Hinckley loose and he lost some spots. Hinkley slows on the back straight away. Hinkley off the pace. Caution's out. We have a car around in the top of the number one corner. Ready to go. Green flag is in the air. Back to racing we go. And again, Douglas to the bottom here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Douglas touched the number 43. It almost set off a chain reaction. And there goes Pasternak by Holdridge. Douglas rolled up into the side of Alexander. Everyone races now out of the number two turn and down the back straight away. Roger Raymond off the pace. Now you've got the number 20 car, Todd Owen, going to the outside of Rock good enough out of turn number two as they get on that back straight away side by side. North by to North by through the third and fourth corner. Down the front straightaway. Jarvis, Hirschman, Alexander. The number 73, McKennedy, Mike Douglas. With good enough and Todd Owen all over him. Is the road to the inside of car number 20. Peter Daniels off the pace, out of control a little bit, gathered up his race car, so did Jack Bateman, trying to keep the event going down the back straightaway. Caution is out for Roger Raymond. The rolling thunder one more time, green flag! Jarvis so want to give it up, and Hirschman wants it a little, maybe a touch over there, but no harm done. We've got our third different leader, Matt Hirschman. Alexander and the number 73, John McKennedy, battling for the number three spot. Out of the corner they come, and down the front straight away, Mike Douglas and Rob Goodnuff. Sean Boudreau in the number one car. Todd Owen in the number 20, and Peter Daniels in the deuce. Chris Pasternak in the 15 Connecticut car. Heavy traffic and side-by-side -side racing coming off turn number four and down into the turn. Jarvis trying to keep within striking distance of the race leader car number 59, Hirschman, Rick McKennedy, and uh, Mike Douglas Jr. What a run by Douglas. They lost a lot of time this year. They were sidelined for several events. Mechanical problems. 
and uh, finances held them back as they waited for parts to come in to rebuild their race car. And this is the best run they've had. Last year, Douglas was runner-up at Lee USA Speedway. Oh, we got a car going around. Todd Owen. Ah, oh, Jimmy Dolan. Going on there. Out of the turn, free flag. If Dwight's going to go to the front, he's going to have to do it now. Side by side, down the back straight away. You know Hirschman will be tough. Hirschman on the bottom. Upstairs, it's the number 28 car. Kirk Alexander running in third spot. Mike Douglas, John McKennedy is in fifth spot. Side by side, down the back straight away for the number six spot. It's car number six and Sean Boudreau in the number one car. Pastor Yak and Eve Archer to side by side as they go into the turn. Two Connecticut stars battling. Dwight's going to try the bottom. Going into turn number three. You're in my country. You got a bunch in sideways. You got another car spun around. I believe that to be Sherry Best. Dwight Jarvis. Here they come. Free flag. Back to work they go. Jarvis on the outside. Horseman downstairs. Into the turn, Kirk is third. McKennedy and Douglas. Now Sean Boudreau shoots to the bottom here as he's gonna make a run to the inside of Douglas and try to get himself a top five run. Boudreau to the bottom. Sean Boudreau. Eddie Spires on the inside of car number 15, Connecticut. Chris Pastryak and Pastryak is able to get by. Hirschman leading the only two champions this series has seen. Jarvis, the 2006 titleist. The top three are running away and hiding. Roy Dwight staying right with number 59. The Bruno Concrete, number 59 modified. Jarvis within striking distance. Alexander watching it from the 43. Running down the back straight away. No leaders, a car separates, a car length between the 28 and car number 59. Alexander McKennedy and Boudreaux, the top five. Sean Boudreaux in the number six. A correction number one, Rob Goodenough in the number six. Is running in sixth, seventh, Pastor Yak. Eighth is Mike Douglas Jr. Ninth is Todd Owen, and tenth is Eddie Spires. Jarvis hanging with Hirschman. Does Dwight have anything for the number 59? Closing in on lap number 84. 82 laps completed. We're closing in on lap number 84. Let's get everybody up for Kirby Monteith. 
Everybody up the Kirby Monteith, wave your hats. Rest in peace, number 84. Rest in peace, mountain man. Right all over Hirschman, they're coming up on slower cars. Here are the closing stages. Down the back straightaway as Alexander is back in third spot, a full straightaway behind the leaders. All focus will be on the orange number 59 and the black number 28 with family watching. Dwight Jarvis right up behind as they come off the number four turn and down the front straight away into the corner. We'll see how they're gonna go by these slower cars. Hirschman's gonna to have to figure the way by first. Dwight will try to get him in traffic as Hirschman's gonna to go to the bottom. Here comes Jarvis to the outside. Hirschman up high going into turn number one. Ooh, you got a little squirrely in between that number one and two turns. A car length separates them down the back straightaway. There's gonna be 10 laps to go as they come down the front straightaway. 10 laps remain in the 2008 True Value season and the Ricky Miller Memorial 100 through the traffic. To the inside of Kenny White goes Hirschman down low into turn number three. Jarvis in his wake coming off turn number four. To the bottom goes the number two car, Peter Daniels. Hirschman will go high into turn number three. Jarvis, does he have anything here for a finish? Matt Hirschman, looking to become the first outsider to win with the True Value Modified Series. $2,000 going to the winner. Down the back straightaway now, Jarvis right up behind him going in. Into that number three turn. Dwight hanging right over that right wheel coming out. Here he is looking to the inside of the back straightaway. Hirschman's able to beat him in a turn number three. Dwight looked like he wanted to make a run down to the bottom on the back straightaway. Five laps remaining. Five laps being shown from the flag stand. Dwight Jarvis right there with Hirschman. Hirschman drives the center line in the one protecting nicely as they went through that first and second turn. They're coming up on slower cars once again. Could they be a factor as they go in? Oh, Dwight get into the back of the 59. No harm done, they continue racing. Matt was able to save his racer. Dwight shot to the high side. In the turn number one again, by the slower cars, Spires and Holdridge. The leaders. They got some clean racetrack. I hit it with a white flag out. One more lap to go. The final lap here at Twin State Speedway in the 2008 True Value Modified Series season. And Matt Hirschman wins his first. Dwight Jarvis goes second. Third will go to Kirk. Fourth to McKennedy. And fifth to Rob Goodnoff. Sixth is the number one car, Boudreau. Seventh is Pastryak. Eighth is the number 23 car, Mike Douglas. Followed by the number 20 car. As an eight ROC modified champion to exit. There's your winner. How about a nice hand for Pennsylvania's Matt Hirschman. Matt Hirschman takes down the win tonight. Matt, uh, what a 100 laps it was here. Three spots you took over uh, back on lap number 25. Then it was a hard run with John McKennedy in car number 73. You took over the lead on lap number 61. Then Dwight Jarvis came up by you in turn number three. You were saved by the caution. You got the lead. Now you're here in victory lane with your first True Value Modified Racing Series start. Yeah, I mean, if, the, if that ain't racing, I don't know what is, man. That was uh, 
That's about as good as you're ever going to get, short track, modified style. And I uh, don't get much better than that uh, anywhere in the country. And, uh, man, what a workout. Uh, I'm out of breath, to be honest. So tell us, this is your first True Value Modified Racing Series start. Obviously, uh, great to be in Victor Lane. Will we see you back again with the tour? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, the reason you don't see me more often is I got commitments to some other stuff, and it's uh, I'm located in Pennsylvania, so uh, but this is certainly worth the drive to come up here, but uh, not on a normal basis. Uh, but uh, yeah, what a year! I've won in uh, in the NASCAR wheel, and I've won in the ROC, and I've won in the True Value. Uh, I don't think anybody else can do that. Let's take a look at your sponsors here. Well, I just got to thank these guys that come up from Pennsylvania. They left uh, last night waiting for to make sure I raced last night at All-Star. So the guys in the car, uh, James and John Gouldy, J&J &J Motorsports, and uh, my family because uh, they made the trip, and uh, it was certainly worthwhile. Matt Hirschman in Victor Lane with his first True Value Modified. Michael Griggs gives them the look. Here they come off. Time for a final race of the season is underway. Robert Leach immediately up front. Four, five wide. Oh, man, look out. We've got trouble up front already. Do they keep it going? They do. Still five wide. Wow, and you thought the modified tour had something on these guys? Oh, baby, it's sure not over with yet. Four wide again going into turn number one and two. Using the grass, the dirt bank, the wall. They're using every inch of this facility they can. Robert Leach, your leader. Tim Parkett, Jeremiah Losey. Oh, the 21 in trouble. The 18 up pit road. The 21 off turn two. Robert Leach, Jeremiah Losey in the 41. Dickie Hull up the third underneath Tim Parkett. Oh, Kyle Small scrapes the backstretch wall. Robert Leach leading the show. Jeremiah Losey, Dickie Hull, Cody Small, Tim Parkett. Don Duck Rogers. No, Rob only in the 99. Let me check here. Yeah, Rob only the third in the 99. Here, here. Flat tire for the 32. Three wide up the back straight away. Well, look out the 471 loose on the back straight away. Great save on Nate Tedford around on the front shoot. Tedford gets it going. After contact with fearless Freddie Rogers in the 129. Fearless Freddy flying the rebel flag. In the, and the skull and crossbones. Dickie Hu now goes for the lead underneath Robert Leach. Four wide in turn three. Dickie Hu, the new leader now. Jeremiah Losey up to second. Robert Leach in trouble. Robert Leach slowing down. Three and four wide again, heading into turn number three. What a pack of wild ones we've got going here tonight. Dickie Hull, your leader in the 62, the 41 of Jeremiah Losey. Now he'll lose second to Cody Small in the 7X. 
the 40 of Leach trying to get back third spot. Him and Losey side by side for third. Cody Small gonna make it three wide, but he'll have the second spot. Losey and Robert Leach thread the needle. Losey taking back third. Leach fighting hard on the inside. Dicky Hole out front in the black 62. He's the man on the move and the man with the plan. Second spot, Cody Small now. He's starting to feel the heat from Jeremiah Losey. Robert Leach coming up through. Here comes Eric Danielli in the nine. Danielli into a top five spot. Pat Hull right behind him. Fearless, Freddie Rogers doing the slide for life through the infield. Gets it stopped and turn two gets it fired back up. Look out! Losey in a lap car, the 75 get together, everybody's okay. Robert Leach takes back over second. Losey, look at this. Oh, and now Dicky Who feeling he from Cody Small for the lead as he lap traffic. Dicky Ho back on top, Cody Small in second. Third is the 40 of Robert Leach. Pat Ho underneath Eric Danielli for fifth. The 62, Dicky Ho is your leader. The 7X of Cody Small second, Robert Leach. Muscles his way by Jeremiah Losey for third. Now Losey and Pat Ho. Losey out for blood. He's really running at 41. Now, Pat Hull underneath Robert Leach, underneath Losey for third. Pat Hull going to work. Oh, Losey in the hole. What a hard hit up on two wheels. Red flag will fly. Absolutely. Your leaders are on the back straightaway. The 62 of Dickie Hull, the man out front. The 7X of Cody Small rides in second, the 40 of Robert Leach third. Then it's the nine of Eric Danielli and the 29 of Bruce Jacobs. Kyle Small around in turn four. Does the 360, gets it fired back up. Kyle Small, Cody Small, winning three car lengths of Nicky Who. Oh, the hood up on the old one. Doesn't want to give up the General Lee. I don't know if that's... Oh, me. I don't know if that's Bo or Luke Duke, but he's driving like Daisy. Needs to get the brakes on it, get the hood back down. So Cody Small taking the lead of Raven Dickey Hull. New leader, that's the yellow 7X. He's gonna put his brother Kyle a lap down. If Kyle lets him. So Cody Small, the 7X, your leader, Dickey Hull second. Here we go, four wide. Hull has to back out of it very wisely at the end underneath Billy Chaffee. So it's Cody Small, Dicky Who, Robert Leach. Tim Parkett may be fourth, but I believe it's Eric Danielli in the nine and then Bruce Jaycox. I believe that's the top five. Again, this is unofficial. This is just me talking. 13 dragging a pipe gets into Rob Holy. Who and Cody Small are trying to battle it out. Cody Small, the 7X, your leader. Dickie Hull. 
small, threads a needle, the hole closes, Dickey who now, Steiner Beale, Ibram Robert Leach. Leach challenging for the second spot. Who able to hold him off contact? Leach gets loose. So Cody Small opens it up a little bit. Now who back on the attack? Dicky who plenty fast and out Honda, but the Volkswagen are caught, caught. Cody Small. Kyle Small sets in the infield. Thirty-two laps in the box. Eighteen laps to go. Cody Small leading Dicky Who, Robert Leach, Eric Daniele, and Bruce Jaycox. Again, it may be Pa Catton fifth. I'm not sure. Cody Small underneath the 75. Here he goes by Rob, only the third. Dicky Hool in hot pursuit. Cody Small now sees some open traffic. Besides the 68 of Jim Curley, he's got a quarter of a track of open traffic, or open racetrack. Dickie Hull going to try to run him down to get back that lead he once had. Small seems to be really on it. Robert Leach has fallen back a ways. Eric Daniele starting to put the pressure on him. Bruce Jaycox trying to catch the top four. Oh, and another Dean a little bit sideways, gets it straightened out. Dragging what looks to be an exhaust pipe, as is the 63 of Nate Daniels. Pat Hull coming back off turn four. Cody Small and Dickie Hull. Setting a blistering pace. They've got a third of a track lead over a third place car, Robert Leach in a 40. Eric Daniele closing ever so slowly, as is Bruce Jaycox. One laps in the books. Cody Small still leading Dickie Hull by one car length. Who closes the gap in turns three and four. Half turn four down to complete lap number 42. Cody Small, Dickie Hull. Then you go back to the straight right now. It's Robert Leach, Eric Daniele, Bruce J. Cox. Unofficially, that's your top five. Seven more laps to go on the 2008 season. Cody Small, Dickie Hull, Robert Leach. Leach struts a needle, comes up through. Great battles going on all the way. Right here. here goes Who with the inside of Cody Small. Takes the lead back, and Small does the crossover. They swap leads twice in one set of turns. Dickie Hull had done what he needed to do, got the pass. Had to give it right back up on the next set of turns, or the next turn, and now Hull has lost four car lengths, starting to close it back up. 
five laps to go. Oh, Billy Chafee loses the tire on the back straightaway. Wheel breaks on the 33. Will everybody miss it? The car stopped, the tire keeps going. Hits the back of the 18 and comes back down to first. Back that, to. that dude's gonna be ugly. I don't know who's in the 18, but he's gonna be pissed. I was just noticing the guy in the 4071, that car's so small he can stick his hand out the right side window. Bobcat overheating. Green flag is out. Cody Small and Dicky Hope back in there. Challenge. Here we go, last two laps of competition. Your leader entering turn number three gets hold up behind Freddie Rogers. Here we go, who's got one last chance? White flag is out. One to go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. A lot of traffic. This could get good. Cody Small does a good job to thread the needle. Who will have one shot right here to make it run? Is it going to happen? Cody Small gets the win. Dicky who second. Third will be the 40 of Robert Leach. Fifth will be, uh, fourth will be the nine for Eric Danielli in fifth. The number 29 of Bruce Jaycox. Again, that's unofficial. That's me running my chops. It's what I thought. 